crying out loud. There's fire in the fire. <laughs> So here I am driving a Tesla Model Y. They've given me about an hour to uh, test drive this and so far so good. Uh, the only thing that I'm not used to is the fact that I don't necessarily need to hit the, the brakes. And so one pedal driving you use the accelerator to accelerate, but when you slowly let go, it actually slows down. As if you're hitting the brakes. So I'm trying to get home to show Marianne uh, this uh, car that I'm test driving. The, uh, the size of it is basically as wide as our CRV, the SUV. Just a little shorter. This is the all wheel drive, long range. I think they told me you can go 323 miles on one charge. And that's kind of like all we need. And we just have to change uh, things on our garage so that we can charge it fast because the 110. It's not going to be fast enough. Uh, he was saying the agent or the salesperson was telling me that 110 charger is uh, for one hour the Tesla can go three miles, which is not much. And this is kind of cool. Uh, you can't see this, but the screen here. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow, that, that has a kick. Um, <laughs> is telling me all the cars in front of me and then it beeps at me if I'm too close and it also knows where they oh my gosh the lights are <laughs> but it's green oh my gosh and how fast I'm supposed to drive damn okay I'm gonna have to um, set up the phone so you can see the, uh, the screen here be cool. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do that later on when I park the car. Yep. Yep, this is kind of weird. So I'm just putting my foot on the uh, accelerator. I guess the only problem with this one but this is on standard driving. Um, if, I guess if it's not on standard driving, I could probably take off my foot off the accelerator. But on standard driving, it seems like if you take your foot off the accelerator, is the same thing as putting your um, foot on the brakes. The, um, the roof, you can see through it. I'm trying to pick up Marianne to see if we can go test driving it, but um, to test drive, but um, she's busy cooking. As far as the drive, since we're not going on the highway, it's everybody's going home right now. It's, I don't want to get caught in traffic. Um, I'm not quite sure the wind or anything, but so far it's been quiet inside. See, you don't have to hit the brakes. And according to the salesperson, even on an uphill, it's not going to roll backwards.
to 500 feet, turn right onto Southeast Car Road. Yes, ma'am. Now turn right onto Southeast Car Road. I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna drive later on hopefully. Timothy might be with me. That's what it looks like. It knows the car is in front of me. It's kinda cool. Okay, so how does it feel as far as the ride guys? Is it smooth? Um, yeah, better. There's no noise, but I'm scared because I So Mal, if you're gonna start driving this all the yelling that you're doing to me, <laughs> you're gonna be even worse because you've gotten so used to one car only. Okay, Mel, let's na nag test drive na kami. Uh, model Y. The long, the, the long distance, not the long distance. Uh, that's what it's called. Um, it's telling me to slow down. 35 miles an hour. Ah, kusa, ano, yung it moves, exactly. Look, look wow. at this. No, no, look at this. Uh -huh. Look. See? 35. So, so it if 35. It knows where uh -huh. the sign is. So even though you're doing faster, mag slow down? No, no. It, it, that, uh huh. It's speed limit. Shh, okay. See? 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 Look. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It tells me what lane if I'm on the in between lanes, and then it knows if there's a garbage can there. It knows there's a sign. And then the cars next to me, it knows if it's a truck, a van. Oh my gosh! And then the lights. Kaya ko kaya yan. It'll take some time to get used to. But here's the thing, man. Once you get used to this one, uh -huh. you're definitely going to have a difficult time with the gas after this. So you have to change your brain a little bit. Like, I can change my brain from gas to stick shift. Uh -huh. See? It's popping because I'm going too fast. It's kind of hard not to go too fast. I will have to ask the uh, salesperson if we're going long driving. I can't keep putting my foot on the pedal because as soon as you take your foot off the pedal, it slows down. But this is the standard driving. Okay, see so now we're going to be at a stoplight. It's going to see. I I'm letting go of the of the accelerator, and it's just automatically slowing down. See? And my foot is off the thing. It keeps moving and I feel like I'm moving backwards. Okay. See? Kitang kita yung mga kalapit na sa sakyan na Yeah. The navigation. It, no, and it, it knows there's a light. That's red. Uh -huh. Watch. It's going to turn green and it's going to go ding. Bakit parang hindi kita yung sasakyan sa likod? What do you mean sasakyan sa likod? Dito walang sasakyan na. Well, it, it, we're moving forward. Why? Mm. See? Turn. Turn green. Oh, okay. Very smooth driving. Oh, see? I'm not doing anything other than putting my pour off the brake which I'm so used to on a gas car and I have to change the way I think. It's not my car! 
<laughs> oh, I'm so not getting used to this. Let go of the accelerator. It's breaking already. Maybe I need. We need to practice. Oh, on you're the, gonna need to practice definitely at the parking practice. area in the office first. <laughs> No, the parking area is probably a good safe bet, but you need to go. Oops. See? Sorry. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> ah, stop it. Yeah, I, you have to keep pressing on the accelerator. Oh, it's just like on the website that I was looking at. Long range. There Long we range. go. White. Mm -hmm. Standard tires. We'll probably add the tow hitch then. Isn't the, but we're getting the standard tires? Yeah, the standard. Okay. Ooh, no. <laughs> 2000 uh, no. Black interior? Yeah, because the other one's $1,000 more. Okay. 5C? Uh huh. So that's the self driving capability for $10,000 more. That's correct, and that could always be added at a later time. Okay, jeez. What has been the average of people, you, I mean, are they actually ordering this kind of thing? I mean, I, I guess they have to have a lot of money, because right now it's at 50990 mm -hmm. the way it is right now. Yeah. I mean, it's all based on the importance of that technology and how it correlates to your lifestyle. So if you feel that you're going to find a lot of productive activities accomplished through the car driving, um, then absolutely. If you feel that you enjoyed the drive more than it driving you, um, those are things that you want to assess. And then that's where the, the subscription comes into play because you get to actually test it out uh, okay. and factor that into your lifestyle. When you said subscription, uh, I pay a dues or something to be We able don't to? know when and how much that is going to be. Okay. It is still uh, in progress. Um, but this is a one-time fee versus, of course, the subscription, which is a month-to-month, -month, uh, which you can terminate at any given time Hello. you want. Hey, welcome back. Um, Has a lot of people been actually using this full self-driving capability at this point? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got the car ready for you. I mean, I like the idea of that uh, parallel parking itself, but um, I'm pretty good at parallel parking. <laughs> My wife is not, though. Um, yeah, but, and, that, and that's where the importance yeah. of your lifestyle factors into that decision making, right? So you want to make sure Whoops. you know exactly what you're getting. And you said I can add this, uh, this on? That is a there? software. So the hardware is already uh, in your vehicle by default. Okay. Um, and then you just go into your app and purchase like an app. The most expensive app you'll ever purchase. For $10,000. Yeah. Um, is someone sent me a link that in the state of Washington, um, electric vehicles are exempt from sales tax? Would that mean the same thing if we bought the app later? Would that be... Uh, none of this will um, matter to the vehicle that you're buying. Um, that is only for 
any vehicle that is under 45,000 oh. that will get a $2,500 uh, tax incentive right I away on checkout. Okay, I thought they stopped that. There's no longer. I thought it was just a sales tax now or something. No, so that's the only one. Uh, it's a standard range Model Three that will qualify. Okay, but see, you don't. There is no standard model for the Model Y. That's correct. The only vehicle in our fleet that will qualify for that incentive is of the twenty-five is the standard range Model Three, which is a rear-wheel drive. In that case, there's a possibility I need to test drive the three and then. Um, go from there because we're trying to get as much tax incentive as we possibly can because this is a very high priced vehicle and I know it's high tech too. Um, it's actually the most inexpensive in the market uh, if you look at it. The what? In, in any of the Tesla oh, models. Okay. Uh, if you look at in the big picture of uh, cost of ownership uh, you have, say, a $30,000 vehicle that you get to purchase. You have the added cost of gas, Correct. maintenance, you know, uh, 30,000 mile tune-ups. Is there also an incentive for <clears throat> the um, charging? I saw something that there's like over $4,000 of some charging thing or whatever it was, or there's an incentive after. Not on charging. No, it um, Okay. Yeah, so the charging is fairly inexpensive. Um, your overall electric bill of your housing is. No, getting, what I meant was like when we're traveling, the superchargers and stuff uh -huh. like that. That used to be on our past Model S and X. Mm -hmm. um, when those vehicles were launched, uh, that incentive is no longer there. Oh, darn. That is also at a time where Tesla was launching its product lines um, but yeah as the company is growing it's evolving it's getting to make our software a lot more stronger and efficient mm -hmm. um, those incentives are no longer necessary 263 miles so it's 100 miles of difference in range that you're looking at okay yeah <laughs> And if cargo space is something that's important to you, outdoor activities, having the capacity to fit a bed. Because we're also we're, um, massage therapists, so uh -huh. we stack two massage tables back there in case that we do need to do that. Uh -huh. The Y is actually. You're going to have the capacity to do that as well. Correct. And then the undercarriage capacity will allow you to put additional accessories Correct. to that massage bed. Yeah. So that is also something. So it's, oh, that's for California. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so well, that, this is what you're looking at, 50990 uh, for your vehicle. Price after estimated savings, and that is... So this is a price that we don't look at, okay. because this is the price that you're paying. This is simply saying, um, with the gas, uh, the rise of gas price, things like that, um, this is an additional 4000 that you no longer have to worry about. Got it, Because okay. you're drawing electric, yeah. Okay. Um, So, 707 is what you're looking, is there a, um, an amount that you would like to like put down? Put down? Uh, let's go for 5,000. So that's what it is. Oh, right, right. now it's 5,000, so okay. So, we're going to remove that, just to show. So this is the by default, or no, wait, you're going to go through your personal bank, you said. Okay, so if you t uh, finance with Tesla, uh, taxes would be due upfront on the day of delivery. 
Yeah, so 783 is what you're looking at in terms of payments if you want to put basically a combination of the 5,000 down plus the, the taxes or essentially if you were to go to the bank uh, and pay the 5,000 that would have been the 768 mm -hmm. and if you pay about 11,000 to the bank then your payment size is 708. Okay, so that's five thousand dollars down plus due for deliveries eleven thousand one sixty four. No, so let me re-explain. So the eleven thousand is the five thousand dollars down uh, plus the six thousand that is the taxes. Oh, the, the taxes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. What is this one right? Here? This is your lease option. Oh, lease option. Okay. Mm -hmm. Upfront tax is seventy two bucks. Because you're paying taxes on just the least portion, not the entire vehicle. These are not as important as letting the factory know that you're wanting a vehicle. So, say you walked out today with a loan um, option that you want to pursue. Um, a week later, you're like, hey, I want to switch to a lease. That is something you can do. Okay. Nope, never mind. Got an extra cash flow. I just want to pay out. You can make all those changes as much as you need to make. Sure. If we yeah. can get that kind of cash flow, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. A generous gift. Okay. All right. Something to really think about. Thank you, Sid. Yeah.